So it is Tuesday, the 22nd of February, 2022. So that's two, 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 two. Um, it's not two minutes past or 2.22, but uh, it's still a lucky day because what I've got here are some leaded light windows. Now, my friend Jenny has just come round with all these gorgeous broken pieces of glass. Edwardian, Victorian, I would suggest. And uh, look, look here. Look, just, see? Isn't that lovely? Look at all that colour. There's a heart. So, I've got a plan. And the plan is, I'm going to have a little bit of fun taking apart all this glass because this is timed right because I've got my design for my front door, my bespoke front door and uh, and I'm thinking some of this, once it's clean, can be in this, you see. Some gorgeous colours like there's this lovely olive green and you know how I love an olive green. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have a little bit of fun, very gingerly and carefully taking these apart with my glass gloves on and, uh, yeah, see what I can do with them and then wash them down very gently. And, uh, yeah, so this is the plan for this afternoon and tomorrow, I would suggest, or even just for the rest of the day, what's not to like. OK, then, see you soon. OK, friends, it is... Friday the 25th of February um, on a on a lovely sunny morning it's right bright and sunny and blue sky um, I've spent a delightful week very carefully cleaning up all the glass pieces um, that was given by my friend Jen who lives a street along look at this lovely Looks like a swallow almost, but uh, flying birds. So I've got a plan. Look at that, circles, hearts. And the plan is to implement some of these gorgeousness into my stained glass door. Um, so I've got this lovely purple here and I'm going to see if I can place it in. But I'm not going to do a lot of planning and placing, in fact none at all, until I get the actual glass because even though this is the accurate 100 centimetres by 50 semicircle half moon shape, it's got to have a centimetre at least within for the beading to um, hold the whole of the glass in. So um, I need to have an accurate measuring of that, which I'll probably tape around as well and then start playing. I'm going to be using lovely bright red or orange beads as well. So I've got a plan, but I don't want to do anything until I've got the glass. So this is, this is what this work prep is so far. I'm going to put away all this gorgeousness and probably start on, new, on the new mandala. Uh, which will be the orange and green one. So see you soon. Bye. So it's Tuesday the 8th of March 2022, International Women's Day. And uh, I'm very excited, very excited because I have just been given this. And you know what that is, ladies and gentlemen? That is a glass panel for my front door. And um, I am going to start working on this, doing a glass on glass mosaic. And here's my design. This is the side I'm working on. Um, so when you see the door from the outside, it'll look like that. So it's all very exciting. I've got all sorts of glass embellissement and situation to use. Got all sorts of gorgeousness. Got lots of beads as well. And 
bits and bobs that I used for my glass on glass on the other two doors in my house. So my plan is to start working on this. So I'm going to put the drawing underneath this glass panel here. I'm just going to tack it on with a little bit of tape. I'm going to make sure that I'm working up to the edge of this um, masking tape. This is where up to where the wooden beading will be when it's in place. And um, I'm thinking because they'll probably want to put some putty up against it as well. So I'm not going to work any deeper than this area. So I've just trimmed away all the excess um, tape as well. So I am very excited. I'm going to start playing and figuring out bits and bobs and take some photographs of that. So onward and upwards. See you soon. Bye. Okay, friends, it is Wednesday, the 16th of March, 2022. And I'm now down to taking away all the bits and bobs that I was inspired to use, which I will use, I will use it. But my gut feeling is to commit. It's, today is the day I glue and commit. Um, so <laughs> I'm going to start off with doing the orange undulation this beautiful thick quite thick quite thick but I think they'll if they'll behave uh, <laughs> they are gorgeous they're like sweeties they're like sweeties so what I will do is glue those in place and add them in and then the other bits and bobs I'm using because you don't care about anything other than the glue clearly so it's Sudal Fix All Crystal Clear, super clear in fact, external grade ladies and gentlemen and I love this section here because it reminds me a bit of a strata in geological terms so I'm up for that and beads, not sure about this bead thing but these, look at this, I need to show you this, I need to show you this, look at this Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Look at the texture on that. Yum, yum. Nice and flat on the other side, of course. So it just so happens to fit into this area beautifully. So a little bit of shuffling and adjusting and gluing. So off I jolly well go. See you soon. Bye. So it's Friday the 18th of March 2022 
Um, I'm giving you a little brief update on what I've been doing the last two days. Lots has been uh, done on this beautiful glass on glass, glass on glass, glass applique. Now, I've got here a row of fishes. And I looked, I was thinking about it last night and I was thinking, you know, I'm not really feeling the fishes. So I'm thinking of taking them off. So what I've done is, using my Stanley knife, is is um, very gingerly and carefully splicing away. Because I've used um, the Sudal Fixor, because it's a silicon glue, it's, it's actually very, very easy to splice underneath because of the silicon and take it off you see so they haven't come away cleanly like this what I've just done is um, used my knife and use my scraper to very carefully clean it all up and I have to admit I did use some wonder wipes some um, some of this spray um, and and some of that. Now, I was given this for free by a company, so um, I use it so until it's absolutely falling apart. So I don't like using it because of the plastic plasticness, but it has cleaned it all off. So yes, so that's what I'm doing next. Now, if I've got enough of these glass beads, I will use them here. So I'm going to take these off as well. Although it looks nice, there is a balance, you see, there's a repetition, and the repetition really works very well. So I'm going to repeat here. Okay then, see you soon. Hope you like it. Do you like it? Tell me, tell me. Comments, share, like. See you soon. Bye. So it's Tuesday the 29th of March 2022 and here's what the work looks like so far. I've only got this section to do, ha, huh? and where is it? That one and that one. So I spent the day doing this section yesterday. So this is kind of eye level. And so I can see people, but it'll bring more light in because a lot of these are rich colours. So I'm now thinking what to do next, because what I was going to do, you see, was just going to have lots of purples, you see, over here, you see. But I'm thinking a little bit of orange to balance it might be quite gorgeous. Some of this bright orange just to balance it with these girls, you know, because that white brings it down quite a bit. And I don't want to bring it down that much, but the light will reflect very nicely. And I do love the textures of bits and bobs like these glass beads. These are Czech glass, some Czech glass hair as well. Boundless Beads. They're from Boundless Beads, everybody. I'll put a link down below in the description box, I think. All right, then. Speak to you soon. Bye.
Okay, friends, it is now the 31st of March, 2022. I finished all the mosaic making and now it's time to grout. So, here's a close-up of all the bits and pieces, the extra bits I've done since the last film at. And it's um, with the glass, with the glass, with the light behind it, you can see that it's absolutely clear. There is some glue splodgedness there, but you know what? I quite like that texture, so it doesn't bother me. I'm not going to be Virgo about it. So, this is what it looks like without grouting. I am going to grout it. Um, what I'm concerned about is... Uh, a little bit of um, the potential of bleeding, grout bleed, but uh, what's the worst it can do? I'm getting so much reflection, it's very difficult to show you, but you can see what I've done so far. Anyway, time to crack on. I'm using my Bal Micromax 2 Microban in ebony. It's a proper black, proper black. So I was going to do a PVA wash, but I don't think I will, actually. I think I'll get on with it. All right, then. Well, we can only try. We can only but try. OK, then. See you soon. Bye. Okay, friends, um, I'm going to give you a little grouting demonstration. I've done half of it already with uh, one batch, and I've got another batch here. Uh, let's just get a little bit closer, and I'll put my gloves back on. So um, the grout I've made quite creamy. Can you see? It's gorgeous, it's lovely, thick, black treacle tar-esque-ness. So what I'm going to do is pop myself around the other side. And what I'm doing is I'm pouring it over the area so that it seeps through everything. Let me see if I can just get you to look at this a little bit better. So if I can pop it over here. That's it. So I'll just do this white clear area first so that you can see. Can you see I'm just like pouring it on and I'm going to go up to about an inch away from the edge because I'm thinking that when uh, Chamberlain joinery come along I think I'm going to give them a little bit extra space for them to work on. So I've applied it, there you are, quick as you like. And once it starts curing, I can move it around a bit more. But you can see, let me just take this glove off. You can see how much it kind of like puddles and pours in. And because it's glass, it's going to take a little bit longer to cure. So let's just take it over here. There you go. So I'm going to gingerly clean up some of the areas, but let's just move this over. So I'm just going to work on this area now. I'm just going to work on this area now. So see you soon. Bye.
So I've applied all the grout in all the crevices. Um, what I'm going to do in a minute is clean up all these bits and bobs, you know, the flat areas, because they need cleaning up, as you can see. And uh, I'm going to give you a little view from the top, from my little step ladder. Ooh. So that's what it looks like from above. As you can see, very dark, but also very puddly. <laughs> so the puddles are good because that way it will sink into the crevices. I'm going to, like I say, clean it up now. I don't think there's any grout bleed. I'm hoping there's no grout bleed. And like I say, I'm going to keep give these edges a grout once the panel is put into place. I did put some gaffer tape here so that and belt and braces. I was going to use some blue tack, but actually, because I used uh, my rubber kidney, it's not scratched the check glass. So, phew, that's good. Because a friend of mine did mention that it uh, stuffed up her check glass, but I think because I'm using a soft rubber kidney, it's not doing that thing. Okay, see you soon. So it's Friday, the 1st of April, April Fool's Day. So 2022, obviously, and I'm here to show you the final, the final result. Here it is. This is what it looks like now it's grouted. So, thankfully, not too much on the grout bleed. I didn't put a well bond wash on it. I'm going to put a well bond wash filmette that my friend Peter twining did um i think a couple of years ago but i thought i'd show you what that front door glass panel looks like now so i'm putting it on its side like that but let's put it like this so that you get a better view look at that you know when i put these down on the glass to start off with before gluing i was really worried that they would stand out and be a bit of a, a nuisance and annoyance um they might fall off but actually they're properly solid and with the white or clear glass i'm really pleased with that because i didn't think it would be as stunning as it is you know because it is stunning and uh, especially when you've got these textures in between, that's really added to it. And these are just glass beads that you can get on any bead website. I got these, particularly this and these, from Boundless Beads. I'll put a link below. Um, some of these are reject glass pieces that... Uh, glass artist friends have um, discarded and given to me and this is a piece of red glass uh, from the international festival glass when i did a residency a few years ago now that's you know that's interesting because that red is created with a bit of gold so that's why you get the red you see and then you've got other reject pieces of glass so I'm using rejects as my starting point and I really like this yellow I don't know if you can see that because it's got a really lush lush orangey yellow tinge to it probably can't see it in filmet styly but um yeah and this one this one was a necklace pendant that my friend Julie Aldridge in, well, she used to live in Adelaide, but she now lives in Lincoln in Australia. Uh, she's a mosaic artist, 
a link below, I would assume. Um, she's definitely on um, Facebook and Instagram. I don't know if she's got a YouTube video it's a channel. Um, yes, gorgeous, gorgeous friend. And um, the, the back cabochon thing fell off. So I thought, well, that'll be good to use because it's proper lush orange. And these beads I love. These are also from Boundless Beads. Love it, love it. And another reject there, which looks very red, reddy orange when you look through the light. But it's actually got lots of iridescence and silvery, silvery golden esque I don't know if you can see that. And I love this. This, this, this is, you know, glass that friends have given me. Love this. Love the texture of this. And of course, once this is put in the door frame, this is going to be so different. So different. Um, it's going to sparkle out with the light hitting on it. And then from the back as well. Let's have a look at the back. Let's have a look at the back, which you can't really see from this angle. So I'm going to pause this and turn it around, see if you can see it better. So this is the back of the mosaic. So this is what I'll see from the inside. And you know what? Now that I can see it properly as well, it's not so bad. There's a little bit of grout bleed, I'm confessing. But you know what? I don't think you'd notice, really. Um, look at that. Look at, look at that... Uh, faceted glass. Isn't that beautiful how it moves? So I'll be able to see people, but not too much. So that's good. Oh, I love it. And I might need to still clean this off. But I quite like that. That's That crackle is act like, like a, a grout, really. So, yeah. That dark area is because the box is in the way, you see. <laughs> so, Caroline Jerry Waller, Mango Mosaics, over and out. See you soon. Bye.